If you are planning to go on your first safari trip, Kenya is one of the best places to be. The country is packed with beautiful national parks and sceneries and so many more opportunities for adventure than other countries. The wildlife safaris have been the top tourist attractions in Kenya for decades, not to mention the beautiful white sandy beaches. Kenya has a population of 54 million people and it is located in East Africa near the equator. Barack Obama's father was from Kenya and also Eliud Kipchoge, the world record holding marathoner. In this video, I'll show you the many opportunities for your adventure in Kenya and all the information you need to start planning your trip here. Before we continue, I would like to welcome you to my channel. If this is your first time here, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. To the returning subscribers, welcome back. Number one in my list on what you can do in Kenya is to track down the Big Five at Masai Mara National Reserve. When you are in Africa, you are going to have to see all the Big Five of Africa, which include leopards, lions, elephants, buffaloes, and rhinos. The best place to see them is at the Masai Mara National Reserve. Masai Mara is part of the Serengeti ecosystem that overlaps the Tanzanian and Kenyan borders and millions of animals roam around freely across the plain. Masai Mara is one of the best places in the world to go on a safari as you will get a closer encounter with all the big five animals, something that you are not able to do elsewhere. It is a six hours drive from Nairobi and a three day itinerary is highly recommended to allow you to make the best out of the trip. While there, you can spend your first evening on a game drive and an entire day driving around the National Reserve, tracking down all the animals you want to see. The second thing you can do in Kenya is to visit a Maasai village. Most of the visits to the Maasai Mara will often include a trip to a Maasai village, where you will be able to see how the Maasai live, how they constructed their mud houses, and why they needed to move every three months. A Maasai will guide you through the village and explain all the local knowledge of the land, including traditional medicines, how they make fires, and many more. The third thing you can do in Kenya is to spot rhinos at Lake Nakuru. A game drive at Lake Nakuru will enable you to spot a black rhino and even a family of white rhinos roaming along the banks of the lake. White rhinos are plenty at Lake Nakuru and you would have no trouble seeing them along the road grazing on grass and bushes. They are quite habituated and are not shy towards humans, unlike the black rhinos. Black rhinos are extremely private and prefer to be isolated and away from animals and people, so you'll have a bit of a harder time seeing them anywhere. The lake itself is also a wonderful place to see some flamingos and all kinds of bird species. The fourth thing you can do in Kenya is to witness the great wild beast migration which happens in Kenya. Millions of wild beasts and zebras migrate from the Masai Mara National Reserve to the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. It is usually a sight to behold, one of the highlights of the migration being when the wild beasts have to cross the Mara River which is invested with crocodiles. To witness the migration, the best time to visit Kenya is between July and September. The fifth thing you can do in Kenya is to enjoy the beautiful white sandy beaches in Mombasa. Since it is located at the equator, Kenya's coastlines are warm and have beautiful white sandy beaches. Once they complete their safari, tourists choose to spend a few days at the beach. Some of the popular beaches in Kenya are number one, the Diani Beach. This is the most popular beach destination with a number of mid-range to luxury beach resorts. Number two is Watamu Beach. 
This has mid-range and budget beach destination. Perfect for someone on a budget. Number three is Lamo Island. Its attractions are ancient houses, which were constructed by Arab traders to East Africa. A beachfront resort will have direct access to the beach at any time of the day, so it is highly recommended. Number six is a well-developed tourist infrastructure. The roads to most of the popular national parks are in perfect condition, making tourists to have a more comfortable time when in Kenya. The government of Kenya has invested a lot to make sure that the national parks are accessible and well maintained for the comfort of the tourists. This is because tourism plays a major role in Kenya's economy. Even non four wheel drive vehicles can drive easily into the national parks. Number seven is great marine life. Kenya is a good destination for people interested in snorkeling and deep sea diving. It has a number of marine parks on its coast that are protected areas for marine life. These parks are Mombasa Marine Park and Malindi Marine Park. Number eight is that Kenya is a great place to buy souvenirs. The souvenirs cost between one US dollar to hundred US dollars, with many of them costing around ten US dollars. The best souvenirs are found in the Maasai Market in Nairobi. The market is an open one, dealing only with safari souvenirs. It's located in different parts of the city at different times of the week. On Tuesday, it is located at Westgate Shopping Mall in Westlands. On Wednesday at Capital Centre Mombasa Road near the airport. On Thursday at Nakumat Junction Shopping Mall Gong Road. On Friday at the Village Market in Gigiri. On Saturday at High Court Parking Lot in the City Centre behind Hilton. And on Sunday at Yaya Centre in Aligam. Number 9 is the fact that Kenya has a great cultural scene. Alliance Francis in Nairobi is a vibrant arts and culture place in Kenya. And also the Kenya National Theatre. Having events on an almost daily basis. A number of arts exhibits happen throughout the year and you can confirm to see what will be available during the time you visit. This can be confirmed through the event bright calendars online. Number 10. Kenya is the only country with a national park within the city. Nairobi National Park is the only park in the world that is located within the city. It is 15 minutes from Nairobi Central Business District. This park boasts of at least 80 species of animals, including the Big Five. The park is the real thing. Animals are completely wild, living in their natural habitat. Number 11 is the fact that you can climb Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya is the second largest mountain in Africa, after Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the tallest. The mountain stands at 5,199 meters above sea level. The journey to the top takes about four days along the Sirimon route, which is the easiest. You will see great sceneries as you hike up to the top. Your gear should be well prepared for this exercise because climbing an alpine mountain can be dangerous. Number 12 is the fact that Kenya has unique resorts and lodges. Kenya has some unique resorts and lodges that cater to tourists with unique tastes. Example of this is the Elewana collection star beds that allow one to sleep under the stars in the African bush. Another one is Sanctuary Olonana located on the banks of the Mara River in the Masai Mara National Reserve. It is a unique lodge located in the middle of nowhere. Number 13 is the fact that Kenya has interesting food. Each of the 40 tribes of Kenya has its own traditional food and delicacies. Hotels like the Safari Park Hotel in Nairobi will get you to sample the hundreds of African dishes 
and experience the culture behind each plate once you visit. A few of the dishes are ugali, chapati, mokimo, morenda, and mahamri. Number 14 is the fact that you can explore Mombasa. Mombasa is worth a visit if you are interested in learning more about the untold history of coastal Africa, how they were influenced by colonial Europe, the Middle East, and even India, and why places like Lamu, Zazibar, and Mombasa are so similar. Fort Jesus is highly recommended for a visit where you will be able to walk around in an old 16th century Portuguese colonial fort with museums and exhibitions displaying Kenyan archaeological finds. Number 15 is the fact that you can admire Mount Kilimanjaro from Amboseli National Park. Despite Mount Kilimanjaro being located in Tanzania, the best place to see the mountain in its full glory is actually at Amboseli National Park in Kenya, as you will have no obstruction of the mountain. Amboseli National Park is probably one of the most scenic national parks out there. With all the animals spread out across the plain as a foreground, a lake as a midground, and Mount Kilimanjaro as a background. It is known for its massive elephant population. Conservation against poaching here is so well done that most of the elephants you see will often spot the massive tasks African elephants are known for. A point to note is that visa processing to enter into Kenya as a tourist is easy and quick. You only need to go to e-citizen portal and apply online and within two days you will have received an email with the details of your visa. You will only need to make online a payment of 51 US dollars per person. There are two rainy seasons in Kenya annually. Safaris are offered all year round, but game viewing is based in the dry winter months from June through August and in the warm months of September through mid-November. Short rains begin at the end of November. During the long rains of March to May, some roads may be impassable. According to the World Travel Awards in 2021, Kenya remains a world-leading safari destination. This marked the seventh time in a row that the country has been recognized as the premier wildlife tourism stop at the prestigious Global Awards. So what are you waiting for? It's time you plan for that trip to Kenya and enjoy all this and so much more. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment in the comment section.